And now there are five, five cases of measles in Michigan since the beginning of the year. This time, it's a four-year-old from Detroit. And tonight, the Detroit Health Department says the little one's family is following all isolation protocols. That story tops the news here at 10. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. The child had no immunizations of measles either. Mara McDonald in Midtown tonight. Mara, the city health department wants parents to know that no insurance nor financial hardship, that is not a barrier to getting your child immunized. Devin, so much that message and we're going to put up the health department's website as well as their phone number that parents can call if they need to get their child vaccinated for measles. They offer these vaccinations daily and realize measles is contagious and it is dangerous. The health department wants everybody to be aware of the locations this little one was at prior to diagnosis. They include the Acadian Urgent Care on Springwells, the Wright Health Pharmacy on West Verner, and the Children's Hospital ER on Bobian. Now, the measles virus can stay in the air for two hours, so if you were at Acadian on April 1st between 12 and 3, Wright Health on April 1st between 1.45 and 4, or the Children's Hospital ER on the 3rd between 5 and 10 a.m., they want you to be on the lookout for symptoms like high fever, cough, runny nose, red watery eyes, and that raised red rash. Unfortunately, you know, at, at both ends of the spectrum in young children and in older adults and also anyone who, uh, whose immune system is weakened, they can get very sick and um, can, it can be fatal. 90% of unvaccinated people get measles if exposed. The good news is the vaccine goes to work immediately and you're usually protected in two weeks. If you've been exposed and get vaccinated within 72 hours, you can stave off the virus. Don't ever let finances or no insurance deter you from getting your child vaccinated. At the Detroit Health Department and at many other uh, providers here in the city of Detroit, um, the Vaccines for Children program will cover vaccines for those who don't have insurance, and that's great news. Back here live, the other good piece of great news here is that this four-year-old was not in school or daycare, so the spread here is likely very minimal. The health department says the family is following all the protocols needed to keep them isolated. And if you are a parent who needs to get their child vaccinated, we're going to have all the info for the Detroit Health Department. If you're a Detroit resident, up on clickondetroit.com. We're live in Midtown. I'm Mara McDonald. Local 4. Yeah. All right, Mara. Thanks very much.